Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. I almost lost my balance and I'm not even on wheels. It was just weird uh, considering the fact that this is the, we're going to talk about the series Saturdays and it all takes place in a roller rink in the south side of Chicago. Uh, this is about, this is basically about uh, a girl named Paris Johnson who hangs out with her friends in this roller rink uh, run by a friend of theirs and her brother DJs and there's also family comedy and drama to happen it, it okay it's a comedy but uh yeah this is like i said 2023 it just uh came out in springtime on disney channel and disney plus each of the episodes about 24 minutes long there's i said 15 minutes did i say 15 episodes it's one season so far maybe there's more i don't know but so far only 15 on disney plus and uh yeah I've only watched one of the episodes, and it uh, follows the girls as they're just you know, spending an average day at the roller rink and finding out that Beyonce is coming to for uh, uh, film a music video at their roller rink. No, it's not Beyonce. Right off, that's <laughs> it was a miscommunication. But some other rapper that kind of might be sort of like Dead Mouse in the sense that he wears a box on his head instead of giant mouse ears. It would have been a little bit too, like, if they would have had a guy put, like, a Mickey Mouse head on top. That would have been weird. A little bit on the nose. But no, it's the guy, it's his gimmick is putting a box on his head, and nobody knows who he really is. Uh, but he is going to be filming a music video at the roller rink where they hang out all the time. But he only needs people who are 18 and up. And the girls are not 18 and up. What are they going to do? What are they going to, how far will they go to try to get into this music video and just reach that, you know, claim their fame? Well, uh, yeah, they do what they can to age themselves up and look like they're in college and hilarity ensues. Meanwhile, mom and dad, uh, Paris's parents, are uh, dealing with their own little struggles where I think mom does like a catering business, like for weddings or something. And an old boyfriend has come to town and wants to, you know, visit. But dad suspects that this guy is just coming in to get closer to his wife, who he had a crush on in high school. It's all convoluted. It's comedy. So... Yeah, this is it's it's well acted. It's uh, it's pretty snappy in its uh, in its delivery. Uh, it's I don't think it's really covering any new ground comedy wise. Like we've seen these kind of misunderstandings uh, for decades now. Uh, misunderstandings that become comedy. That's what the funny is. And uh, you know who really is the guy. Uh, that is underneath the box head. Who should they all be sucking up to in order to be in the music video? And is is being in the music video everything they want? And is mom and dad, is, is the guy really, really trying to move in on mom? And is dad right or is dad wrong? It's, you know, there's, the weird thing is, is the, guy's, the, the guy that's supposedly moving in, his name is Doug Jones. And I really expected it to be this like seven foot tall, lanky white guy. It wasn't. It was not Doug Jones. So, which is kind of disappointing. It would have been great to see Doug Jones in this as well. Um, he does everything else, but he wouldn't have been in costume, like all these prosthetics and alien monster stuff. It, you know, Billy Bones or anything. No, no, no. There's no Doug Jones in this. Just a guy playing a guy named Doug Jones. So anyway, uh, this is this is all uh, primarily a black cast. Uh, so yeah, this is definitely, uh, if, if you're from Chicago or if you uh, love roller skating, I grew up in a roller skating rink myself, uh, spent many, many a weekend on wheels and I know how to roller skate. I even know how to ice skate, but roller skating was more fun. I haven't done it in years. I'd probably die if I tried. One of the cool things about this <laughs> is that at the end of the episode, uh, they actually put a little focus on a kid who really does know how to roller skate really well. And so they have footage of this kid out in the parking lot just spinning and twirling and doing all sorts of crazy stuff while giving information about uh, where he started, what he's into. And the, the Emilio is the name of the kid at the very end of the first episode that they focus on. I imagine they do that with the other episodes. Don't know. But uh, yeah, this is a, it's a fun 
fun comedy kind of thing. I don't know if it's the kind of thing that I'll watch again. It's 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 funny, but it's not makes me doesn't make me want to go. Oh my gosh, I gotta I gotta see what happens next. It's it's standard, pretty standard uh, comedy formula, but it doesn't mean it's it's bad. So if you're into roller skating in the south side of Chicago and you want to see a, 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 this is, I mean that if anything the roller skating uh, roller rink concept uh, the foundation location is unique other than uh, Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur which wouldn't that be great if there was a neat crossover between these there is an animated sequence in this for like a short time that they use for flashback for a flashback and that while the art is not exactly the same, I for a second I thought, wait, is this the same exact art for Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur? Because Moon Girl, Devil Dinosaur, her mom family owns a roller rink in New York. So, yeah, I, I want to see that crossover. Wouldn't that be neat? That would be fun. Let's pick tomorrow's episode. Three hundred seventy-one. Wow, we're really sticking around the three hundreds here. Last few, last few days, 371. What do we got? Oh, so close. <laughs> so close to shorts. <clears throat> All right. But this is right down my alley. Uh, it's some of the last few Star Wars things that are is available on Disney Plus that I haven't already seen. Like, well, that I that I haven't already talked about. I've seen all the Star Wars stuff. I'm caught up with Ahsoka, so, you know, all that stuff. So anyway, uh, we'll be watching Star Wars Young Jedi Adventures. Have I seen this already? What do you think? Anyway, uh, that's what we're watching tomorrow. Star Wars Young Jedi Adventures, the series, not the shorts, the series on the next Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. We'll see you then.